What is up, all my dumpster peeps? How in the heck are you? Guess what I'm in? My car. The only downfall? <laughs> Wait till I tell you guys this. You're just gonna laugh. Like honestly, when he showed me this morning when I went and picked my car up, I just laughed because I was like, honestly, this car is like a black hat. It's like the worst luck. <laughs> so he got the alternator in and he put it on charge because my battery was completely dead. He was like, I put it on charge overnight. I got in it this morning to test drive it. So I'm going down the road. He said he was going 30, which means he was probably going 50. <laughs> he forgot to latch my hood. My hood came up and buckled. <laughs> you guys, I can't. I can't, I can't make this stuff up. I swear. So he bent it back down and kind of got out most of the dents. And thank God it didn't shatter my windshield. Oh, but there's a huge, huge buckle in my hood. <laughs> and some paint damage. So... I told him not even to worry about it because, I mean, honestly, he cut me such a break on the labor. I was like, really, I'm not worried about it. It's a dent. It's not that big of a deal. And he was like, no, I did it. I'm going to fix it. So I was like, you really don't need to. But he already ordered my hood. So he just has to paint it and then put it on. Like, he's such a great guy. So I'm going to pay him even though he, um, you know, he's doing it because he messed it up. I'm going to give him just for the labor, just because. So I just thought that, that was funny and I had to share it. I'll show you guys later. So anyway, let me break it down for you. It's Sunday and I'm not at work. Oh yeah. So me and the hubby and the kiddos were just at my aunt's house because my little cousin, Angelina, she graduated high school this year. So the, today was her graduation party. We just left around 6.30. So yes, she graduated and I'm so proud of her. And she is such an amazing young woman and a hard worker. And she's going away to college August 17th, and, but she's gonna do great things. So I'm really proud of her. So anyway, that's why I'm not at work. I had somebody work for me. So now that I got you caught up to speed, I blocked the crazy lady, so I don't have to deal with her craziness anymore. Oh my God, I can laugh now, but I was so, that was the last thing I needed. Like we just got bad news that when I started recording that video, we were still waiting to hear back. And then like in the middle of it, I found out we didn't get it. Like when it right after I showed you the rug and I was like, maybe that will be the new rug for our new house and then the agent called me and was like we didn't get it so then I was just like so so pissed off <laughs> and then I had that lady comment and I just you know the stress level can go I'm such a happy person and I'm always a happy-go-lucky like you'll never know when there's something truly bothering me because I don't show it I'm a bartender like you can't go in and have all your problems follow you to work nobody cares they want you to serve their drink with a smile and that's it put the feelings behind and nobody will ever know there's something wrong with me until that bubbles all the way up to the top and starts spilling over and then you get crazy Shannon <laughs> which is what you guys got in that video I'm sorry <laughs> we're gonna go and check some dumpsters so hopefully we find some goodies I've been talking for 11 minutes again. What is with me talking for 11 minutes? I obviously blab way too damn much. I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> Anywho, so let's go do some more damage on these dumpsters and see what we can get into tonight and let's hope we don't break down. <laughs> We're at the candle dumpster guys. I don't think there's anything in there though.
got me a candle. Sun castles and sunshine. Whew. in every dumpster and every dumpster is filled with rainwater. <laughs> my shoe just filled with water when I jumped on in that one. That's okay. For a candle score it was so worth it. Now we're gonna go check the makeup dumpster even though there's never anything. Maybe I'll find bubble wrap because I need some. Give me something good Alta. Don't do me dirty like you always do. Awesome. I just got so many lipsticks, an Urban Decay liner, an Urban Decay lipstick, and Too Faced lipstick. Now I need, I have makeup all over me. Sadly, they dumped out all of the foundation, all in the bottom of the, bo <laughs> bottom of the bumpster. Bottom of the dumpster. All right, guys, that's it around here. Now let's go check all of my favorite dumpsters and hope they help me out tonight. Okay guys, I normally never check this dumpster because um, every time I've checked it, they've destroyed everything, but I haven't checked in a while, so I figure let's stop and see if there's anything good by chance. guys we're gonna start at Ollie's and then work our way around or I mean start at home goods I really hope the coat factories dumpster has some goodies and home goods because I could use a good score all right no managers are left at home goods everybody's gone I'm pretty sure all these stores close early well most oh my goodness you see all those bags
something on some of the stuff but I think I can get it out Oh yeah thank you Hogan. you didn't do me dirty <laughs> I should really stop singing legit almost every dumpster so far has given me something this is straight crazy, guys. Look how pretty the sky is. Gorgeous. All right, let's cut the headlights. <laughs> We're going incognito. 007 style. All right, I think I see stuff. We might need to come back here later as well if there's a lot of stuff because the employees are still here, obviously. But we're going to check quietly. They smell amazing. They're melting This is amazing! Although, backing up without a backup camera is not the best because I like to see where I'm going and I'm so used to it, I keep forgetting to look behind me. Oh my god, the employees are coming out right now. Let me take this off my head. Oh my god, that was so close. You don't even understand. They were legit walking out when I was coming up. <laughs> Let's check Ollie's. Tell me that basketball hoop's there. The basketball hoop is there. It's behind the box, but they spray painted it. So, and they, uh, looks like they broke it the backing of it, like the backboard. So, not even gonna mess with it. All right, we're gonna check Joanne's and then we're gonna go to Michael's and the other Dollar General and then we're done. back to Big Lots but I am like pouring sweat and I'm not feeling the greatest right now oh my goodness guys I'm sweating like pouring sweat I can't believe how many candles I got oh I got the hiccups all right so we're gonna stop by Pier 1 I'll check that one um there's probably not gonna be anything because there never really is but they're going out of business so I'm hoping soon there will be really not feeling well I was fine all day I think just from sitting in the sun all day at that graduation party like it's just getting to me now and I'm just not feeling good and then running around and jumping in a dumpster right afterwards probably wasn't the brightest idea but <laughs> yeah, you'll have that come on dude get over you got room so let's go check Pier 1 and then we'll check Michael's and Dollar General and then we're done for the evening Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to end the dive here. I'm not gonna go to Michael's. 
and Dollar General because I'm really not feeling well. I all of a sudden just got really sick to my stomach. So I'm going to be done for the night. I'm going to go home and just get some really much needed sleep and take it easy for the rest of the night. I think just being out in the sun all day just took it out of me and like I'm just not feeling good. So and I didn't eat much, which probably didn't help. <laughs> so I'm going to go home and just relax. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the reveal. Hopefully I'm feeling better by then, which I'm sure I will. So sorry I had to end it soon. I know I was having a fantastic night of diving, but I got to listen to my body. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. What is up, YouTube family? All of my dumpster peeps. Welcome to the full reveal. I'm feeling much better. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sure you're all probably like, oh no, I hope you feel better. But I feel fine now. But I'm super down. So thanks for asking. Oh my goodness, guys. I really wish I wouldn't have gotten sick last night because I was on fire. I went to so many dumpsters last night and oh my word, did we get some awesome stuff. So None of the dumpsters did me dirty last night, guys. Not one. <laughs> what day was it? What was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. Today's Monday. Okay, so Wednesday evening, I did not have my car. I had my mechanic's car. But Bethany had texted me and was like, hey, I was up near Bath and Body Works, and they were tossing some stuff. So I was like, well, it's only one exit down. So I'll just take my mechanic's car and go see if there's any goodies in that dumpster. I'm only checking one. And of course, I only had the flashlight on my phone. I had nothing. I didn't have a grabber. I didn't have a stool. I didn't have a tripod. I didn't have my camera mount for my car. Nothing. So I did try to record it for you guys, but it was so dark, you can't see anything. So I'm just going to show you what I got from that dumpster first, and then we'll move on to all this awesomeness behind me. From the candle dumpster out by Miss Beth's house, this is what I got. So there was a bunch of these sunshine and lemons hand soaps testers. They dumped them all out. I was so mad. But these ones have a tiny little bit in, so I'm going to combine them both and then just add a little bit of water. And that's usually what I do if I get bottles that are almost empty. That way you're using almost all of the soap, if not all of it. So we got those. We got a burnt strawberry pound cake. Let me tell you, oh my goodness. If you have a chance to smell this candle, smell it. Because you're going to want to eat it. It smells that dang good. Then, I found this. Let's get all the glass off so I don't slice my finger open with my luck. <laughs> it's a full strawberry pound cake. Never been burnt. The glass is just broken, but we all know that ain't a big deal to me. So, yay for me. And then my favorite all-time Bath and Body Works wallflower refill scent. Can't believe I said that without messing it up. <laughs> Lemon verbena. And it's full. It is still sealed. I don't know why they throw these out, but I find them all the time. And last but not least, I found this one which this smells amazing. I don't know what scent it is. I wish they would have it like on the bottom if the tag isn't on, but oh well, it smells amazing. It's half full, I will use that. That is everything I got from the Bath and Body Works by my work by Beth's house. But that was totally worth it in my book. Then yesterday, after I got home from the graduation party, I was like, oh, I need to go diving, babe. Like I'm never off on Sundays. This is the best day to go and I can never get there early enough because I'm always at work. So he's like, go ahead, go. So I went out, I think I left the house around 8 p.m. and it was the perfect timing, like the perfect timing. So here is what I got at the other candle dumpster. I got a wallflower plug-in. Now it is broken. See how it's cracked right there on that corner? But Honestly, that doesn't bother me. I tried to look for it in the dumpster, but you're not going to see it when it's plugged into the wall unless you're looking at it from the side. You know what I mean? And look how cute that is. Right? Oh, so cute. And never used. Still has the little plastic on the pluggy any part. Then I also got 
a full candle. Sand castles and sunshine, baby. That's all I'm dealing with. Oh my God, it smells so amazing. And look at how cute it has little crabs on it and seashells. What else did I get? I got another wallflower plug-in. I don't have this one. It's just like a, take it out of the bag for you. But I really like that. It's like a brushed nickel and then like a shiny nickel at the top. It's really pretty. I don't know what that scent is, but it smells good. So I'll use the rest of that up. I also got this refill or wallflower plug-in. It has been used, but I can wipe that off. No problem. And I also got um, the scent flannel, which I think that might be what the other one was now that I'm looking at them. Oh, it is. They're both the same color blue. So they're both the scent flannel. That's awesome. And this one is completely full, never been opened. Yay me. And I just grabbed the lid in the dumpster that was for the candle. So that is everything I got from the candle dumpster, the second candle dumpster. Don't mind my big honking zit on my chin. I know it's big. I don't care. I don't got no makeup on. I was swimming with my girls all day in our pool. Then I was like, well, I can't believe I found stuff in the candle dumpster. Might as well check the Ulta dumpster. Not that there's ever anything in there, but I do know they always have a lot of bubble wrap. So I did get a lot of bubble wrap, <laughs> which is awesome because I'm out. So that is amazing and I just sent out a package Miss Candace your stuff is on the way girlfriend so I jumped on into the Ulta dumpster and guys there were so many testers like still taped onto like the, the displays they just threw the whole display away none of them have been used they are all in plastic like these two-faced ones Never opened, completely full. Look at how pretty that is. I might keep one of them, I don't know. And then I also got this Melted Matte by Too Faced. It's a display also, but it's completely full. I got this KKW, which is Kim Kardashian West Beauty, yellow gold, yellow gold eyeliner? Who would wear that color eyeliner? I don't, that's weird. Oh, did you see the grays right there? Woo! I need to dye my hair. <laughs> um, anyway, it has the plastic. See the plastic seal? Never been opened. <laughs> and I also got, oh, what's this one? Another tester from Too Faced. Another sparkle. It's like a lighter one. So we got three of those. I also got... Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencils, and I got the blue, the like pink, the purple, and the neon green, all still sealed, never opened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not that I would use these colors, but these are pretty cool. I'm not like good with my makeup. I do the same thing every day. <laughs> if I tried to do something different, I would probably look like a straight weirdo, so we'll just stick to what I know. Then I also got all these Too Faced testers, which none have been used. They are all still taped at the top, and I had to pull them out of the display case. The only thing is, is they are a little smushed from melting from the heat. Those are perfectly good. Also, then we also got this Urban Decay lipstick. All of these are also sealed. I had to take them out of the display. So we got all these colors. That is awesome. These are not cheap, guys. Not cheap at all. Then we got some Urban Decay wired liners, which is awesome. Are these all black? Oh, they are all black. That's awesome. I'll probably keep one or two and then probably sell the rest. But I absolutely love eyeliners like this, like the gel. Oh, and Urban Decay. I can't afford to buy Urban Decay, <laughs> but I'll take it out of the dumpster. Yes, I will. Oh, and guys, I got a new phone. Like literally three hours ago when I dropped mine and busted it. <laughs> so hopefully this, um, like whenever I was recording all my diving and everything, that was my old phone. This is a iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is actually 
the best other than the X for um, recording and doing videos and stuff. So let me know if the picture seems much better because this will be the picture that you're getting from now on for me as long as I don't drop and break this one. So I bought an OtterBox case for it so it's like Shannon proof. <laughs> okay. So that's all the makeup I got. We're stoked about that because I've never scored makeup ever before at the Alta dumpster. So thank you, Alta. I appreciate it. <laughs> Where did we go? Oh, we went to, oh God, my legs are cramping already. We went to the pet dumpster and I was shocked to find this. The box was laying on the ground and they took out the little <laughs> sling and threw that in the dumpster. It definitely needs washed. It smells like pet dumpster, if you know what I mean. If you're a diver, you know that smell quite well. It is a soft jersey knit outside fabric and cozy fleece inner lining for your little itty bitty puppy dog. So I thought that was so adorable. No idea how much this thing costs. I'm sure it's not cheap. I will wash this and um, if anybody wants it, it's available. Then we went to the home good type dumpster and oh my goodness guys when I looked under that big bag of garbage and just seen all this stuff laying so nicely <laughs> I about stroked out so we got a bunch of Easter tablecloths so this is a let's see what's this one this is an oblong ob <laughs> oblong <laughs> can we talk today oblong tablecloth 60 by 84 and it has adorable little bunnies on it and like florals and then this one is a 70 inch round tablecloth another oblong tablecloth and this is 60 by 102 so this one's bigger and then or did I say 102? Yeah, that's right, 60 by 102. And this is another oblong tablecloth. This one's 60 by 120. And then we got um, the napkins, a set of four napkins to match. How freaking adorable. Which I'm gonna keep the napkins. The runner, look at, I love runners. I use runners for every holiday and I don't have one for Easter. So this is super cute. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm going to keep the napkins and the smaller um, 60 by 84 tablecloth. So I still have a 60 by 102, a 60 by 120, and a 70 inch round tablecloth for sale. I also got another runner. This one's for Christmas. This was $17. It does have a stain on it right there, but I can get that out. And how cute is that? It's little Christmas trees. How darling is that? We also got a Ray Dunn gingerbread bowl. I'm super excited about it. There it is on the bottom. I also got this shabby chic five by seven picture frame, which this obviously broke, but I can fix that. So yay me. Then we also got some cookie cutters. This is like a little truck with a tree in the back. How cute is that? And it has a little book that has gingerbread recipes in it. That is adorable. So that would be a great teacher gift over Christmas time if my kids go back to school. I just got sent a survey from my kids' school asking about if they implement these things, will I send my children back to school? So I don't know what's gonna go on with that, but hopefully they can go back to school and be safe, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys have heard about your school districts, if you've heard anything, where you're from, because I would love to know. We got some pistachio macaroons. I'm not a fan of macaroons. No, I'm not, and I definitely wouldn't be a fan of pistachio, but I'll take them to work. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would like them there. Then, I got this, and I was like, no way the lid is gonna be in there, and wouldn't you know it, it was. Now. The glass is broken right here. Just put some duct tape. <laughs> that way glass doesn't get into my drinks. I'm keeping it. I just hope I can fix it. If you guys have any ideas, I mean, other than duct tape, if there's something else out there I could use, let me know in the comments down below. I also got this 
blanket, which is perfect for our game room because as you can see, we're in Pittsburgh, PA, and we're Steeler fans. So, black and gold all the way, baby. There is a stain on the back, but it's a little stain and not a big deal. If it doesn't come out, I'll just flip it over it the other way and lay it on my couch. So, you guys will probably be seeing this in my background on my couch soon, once I wash it. <laughs> this massive, sensational, natural soy blend candle in the scent storm guys this candle let me tell you how amazing it smells i literally have been smelling it all day i could lick it <laughs> oh my god it smells so good so it is melted from being in the hot sun but i'm just gonna light it anyway so once i light it i'll um i'll try and get this all melted off the lid and put it back in here so it at least gets a little bit more evened out but I will definitely be burning this candle. This smells so good. And then last but not least, I believe, yes, from the Home Goods type dumpster was this super cute soap dish, which I will use. There is a little baby crack right there, but that would, of course, go towards the back of the sink and no one's gonna see it now, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> then the last dumpster that I was able to go to before I got deathly sick and thought I was going to barf all over myself was the Coke Factory dumpster. And literally, guys, I'm backing out. And as I get out and just go around the corner, here comes all the employees out of the store. I literally just made it. Oh, that I was like, that never happens. Normally, I would have gotten busted. But I had such good luck last night. And I think it's just because I've had such bad luck lately. <laughs> like the dumpster gods felt bad. They're like, let's give this girl a break. <laughs> so I got so many candles, guys. So these are, I'm guessing from Mother's Day. These are all candles that say mom. So these are Wendy Bellissimo um, home candles. And they say mom, like I said. And this scent is always red. These candles smell very good. But there's a bunch of different ones. This one says home is where mom is. And this scent is chamomile. Another one that says mom with a rose. This one is peony. We got one broken. This one is peony as well. Another home is where mom is and chamomile. They're all three the same. Yeah, another peony. One that just says mom with the heart that's always red. Got another chamomile, home is where mom is, and another home is where mom is. Nine candles in that case. Oh, I also took these from Bath and & Body and a big bag back there. This was in the dumpster in a bag. So, It is a spa mitt, and it has these little like galvanized buckets, and this one has a super cute little scoop that you can put like bath beads or bath salts in. How adorable is that? Let's see, we got another mom candle. This one is always red. And then we got six more in here, but this whole box, something like perfume leaked or cologne because it is soaked with cologne and perfume smell. Like it smells so strong. And I had to leave it in my garage because it was stinking my whole house up like cologne. I mean, it smells good, but it's like a little too strong, you know, like that old woman you walk past in the store and you're like, oh my God, did she use the whole bottle? That's what this smells like. Oh, then we got a sister one. This one is pink velvet. This one says mama bear. Well, it just says mama with the bear. Midsummer's night, another mama bear. These were $7 each, these candles. Another mama bear, a grandma. That one is honeysuckle. Oh, I bet that smells good. Another sister and we got another mom. So there's six seven, eight more candles. 17 candles at $7 each is what those all were. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I also got, last but not least, this super cute six month baby boy 
or baby girl, doesn't matter, three to six months. They were selling this for $2.99, they couldn't sell it. Sadly, perfume and everything got all over it, and wax, I don't know if that's gonna come out, but it might be worth a shot to see if it'll come out, because that's adorable with the little elephant and the ear. So cute. That, my friends, is everything I got at the dumpsters, and I totally just redeemed my dumpster gangster. <laughs> so mad that I couldn't finish but I legit thought I was gonna barf all over myself guys like I got so overheated jumping in dumpsters in 90 degree weather just isn't the best idea not so much so I am super excited about this I got so many awesome things that I can keep for decor and I got so many things that I can give away as gifts and tons of candles which I love and normally I only like to try and sell um, Bath and Body Works candles but these candles smell amazing. So I'm definitely going to be doing my 12,500 subscriber giveaway soon. I know that's an odd number, but I didn't want to have to make you guys wait until 15,000 to do another giveaway just for me to show my appreciation. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two winners for my 12,500 subscriber giveaway. And in that giveaway, you're going to get a lot of candles. <laughs> and spatulas and whisks that I all got from the Ollie's dumpster the other day. So, if you have yet to subscribe, please do not forget to click that button and hit the bell next to it so that you do not miss out on any upcoming diving videos. And also, cooking videos will be coming. I know I've had a lot of you email me and be like, we miss your cooking videos. So I will do a few more of those. I'll mix them in here and there. Hi girls. Would you like to say hi? No thanks. No thanks. Okay. <laughs> At least they were nice about it, guys. Sorry. Anyway, um, we're close. I think I'm at 12,100 subscribers, so I'm like 400 away. So please click that button. That way we get 12.5 and I can do these giveaways because I want you guys to be able to get some stuff that I get from the dumpsters because I like giving stuff away. And who else better to give it to than you guys who support me and you're all so awesome. So thank you. And that is going to do it for this video. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me last night and tonight. And I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And I will see you guys in another video as soon as possible. So, yep, that's it. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> that's it. So thank you guys. And as always, happy diving. Bye guys.